Hi guys, welcome back. So you saw me uh, just jamming on the old uh, 2.3 here for a couple hours today. Just getting things assembled and put all together. So just uh, finding stuff in all the boxes that Bitsy sent me and just trying to get things off the floor and put them together. And uh, getting to the point where I'm kind of slowing down for lack of some parts. But uh, I think the next thing to do for me is to get this off the stand the engine stand and get it over to the run stand so i gotta get my the chair picker out and around and in but it's been raining all weekend and i don't want to get the coop out and get it all wet and dirty so it's gonna be as and when i get the opportunity so i'm kind of at a little bit of a stopping point for now uh valve cover i just set in place kind of for some hero pictures but uh yeah, this thing is going to require some more thought. Um, <laughs> putting things together, you know, because this this is a bigger aftermarket, you know, whole set turbo. The, the original one had a an IHI turbo on a, a Thunderbird turbo coupe. Some of the SVOs and early cars had a T3 turbo, which was a little bit bigger than an IHI, but this thing is a lot, lot bigger. So I don't know what kind of boost levels he uh, he plans on pushing through this motor but uh we will see so because this turbo is going to be different now the issues we're running into is i don't know what size this fitting is uh the original turbo lines and here's two original ones and uh you know, none of these are even close to being that size i got three bins of parts Nothing is close to even matching this this fitting, so I don't know what he's gonna have to do or come up with to tell me what the, this fitting is. So yeah, this is just on here loose for the moment. But the turbo is mounted solid. And another thing, pretty drastic that I ran into was there was here is the oil drain line for the turbo. So fitting this thing in here is gonna be. Uh, one of the best things ever. That's gonna suck because there is no room. Let me go get a pointer here. So there is like no room between the oil outlet here and the housing for the width of this AN fitting. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to install this first. And then have the flat here, one of the flats against the turbo. And I may even have to grind a little bit off of one just so it'll fit. Because you're never going to be able to turn this with it on. And then install the two you know, Allen headed bolts to the, for this flange afterwards. But then it's got a, this has got to snake all the way through this thing somehow here and still get to this drain line spot down here. And it's just gonna be, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is a normal modification for these Thunderbirds or not. I haven't done anything on these cars in a lot of years since I sold my old SVO. But even then I still had a standard turbo on it. And uh, you know, everything kind of fit and worked. I mean, even with this turbo, you got these metal coolant tubes that run down the, uh, the side of the, valve cover that's what this bolt here is for it kind of holds the two tubes that run down the length but this turbo is so big those tubes aren't going to be able to fit in there so i don't know where they're going to go higher or lower or, or what he angled this the intake over so the uh i guess coming from the intercooler is going to come in this way thankfully i was able to, to turn this this fitting here the other way to attach to the pcv valve but he had this had the intake you know cut and reclocked and welded but i think this is the old uh, ezr passage we're not gonna have an ezr on this thing anymore so i don't know why this wasn't cut off as well and uh and welded up so it's gonna kind of be a little bit of an eyesore we're gonna have to get a blanking plate or something but we'll make it happen you know i gotta get the distributor back together and installed we gotta figure out because the oil, the 
coolant lines aren't there. What are we gonna do for the oil cooler? There's coolant lines that have to go here. Knock sensor's still gonna go there. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things to think about when you start changing and hot rodding and uh, of how the, all the ergonomics is gonna, gonna play out. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's I, I wish it was more, he had a little bit more of this stuff sorted out so I don't have to figure it out for him. So, but I'll keep going back to him, asking him questions and see what he comes up with because this is just gonna take longer, much longer than I had hoped to get this engine in on and running in and out the door so but whatever so another things got the fuel tank kind of welded up tested <laughs> the only thing bad is on your tig weld that i had to keep trying to cool down this plastic little insert here so it didn't melt it it started to melt and i threw a couple wet rags on it this is just a little bubbly because i pressure tested it when i was all, all done i had to, to braise around the uh some of these tubes and there was a little bit of air coming out of the plastic fitting, so I just grilled glued it and painted it. And it'll be fine for what we're using for, you know. Maybe driving down the road with this thing or anything, but so if I and carbureted fuel tank all in one. Gotta get the uh distributor back together. Another thing was this spacer plate would go normally behind the top crank gear or cam gear. But I put it there and I installed it. But when you tighten up the big, the main bolt, it puts a lot of pressure on the back side of this gear, and you can't turn it. So I took it back out, and I'm wondering if we're going to have to take it, cut it off, and literally use it as a spacer, so it spaces the gear properly for when the timing belt gets put on here. So I have to figure that out. So I don't want to. I'm not sure. I want to prime the engine before I get it on the stand. And I don't know if I want to put the distributor in and turn this gear to prime it. Or we just take the shaft before then and I stick it down in there. And turn it with a drill and prime the oiling system that way. So, but my buddy's supposed to get here early next week. He's going to bring me a jug of oil. And I'll figure it out then. But yeah so that's what's going on getting it together at least it looks kind of nice but uh soon to get it on the stand and uh keep following along for more progress and i'll catch you guys soon